it going everyone Parth with Atlanta JDM here to show off another one of our imports got this window down I've got the AC on very low for sound purposes but I'm sitting in a 1996 Suzuki Jimny YC this is a custom order this will be going to South Carolina tomorrow I'm literally doing the video and then I'm gonna load it on my trailer with the mini and um yeah it's ja22w it's a great jimny sounds good it runs good it's got a little blow off valve i don't know if you can hear it I'm trying to display it the best i can but in person it just is better it doesn't this video is not going to do it justice unfortunately but i don't typically do driving in the uh custom order sold vehicles this is you know kind of a rare occasion i, I kind of want to show this one off because it's one of the better jimneys we've had like it's easily in the top three best jimneys we've had in stock and um you know it's got some stuff it's a 25 year old car but maxwell is very aware of all that stuff he was able to hand pick that and even with the small minor stuff I think he's gonna be really happy with this car because I like I said I would have bought this car for inventory if he didn't want it the last Jimny we had went to Anchorage Alaska and you know again I like to drive the cars check them out I had to fly to Tacoma for that one to clear it through customs and get it on the ferry for Alaska and even as nice as that one was that was probably the most expensive Jimny I've sold but in comparison to this one, I think this one is takes the cake. Like best Jimny I've ever sold was to uh, Caroline. It was that bronze Jimny. It's somewhere on the channel if you want to check it out. But that Jimny was awesome. This one comes close. Like I said, though, it's in that top three. Biggest difference is um, being a JA22. It's got the K6A. No. Yeah, K6A. Older Jimmy's have the F6A. Still the same three cylinder 660cc. It just has a timing chain instead of a timing belt. So maintenance wise, it's a little better. Don't think uh, Maxwell's going to have to do anything to this aside from, you know, whatever aftermarket stuff he does. Just sounds so good. All right, so like I said, there's a lot to do today and um, I'm losing my voice because of the car show and yada, yada, yada. Still gotta load these guys up and get ready for the trip tomorrow, but start by doing a quick little lap. Again, these are gonna be very short videos, this and the mini. There's not really much to go over. I mean, the obvious thing cosmetically for this is a couple of points on the car and the paint fade on the roof. And again, Maxwell knows it's a 25 year old car so it's not going to be perfect so cosmetically like i said there is a uh, paint fade on the roof it's like uh because in japan they only do single stage no clear coat so it's they're just baking in the sun um some paint fade on the hood scoop which is needed it is, does have the k6a it is a turbo so it does have a little snail in it. You do have a little dent right here. Um, again, just most of the cosmetic stuff Maxwell is aware of, but we'll go over it again for this video. Um, these are kind of crusty along with the screws. This is the biggest spot right here I don't like. So I'm gonna try to fix it and it's just like, uh, yeah. It's, it's rust, but again, the, the car is a fair trade-off and I'm sure it will be attended to properly here in the States now. Again, Japanese people are, or Japanese are very good about mechanically working on stuff, but when it comes to cosmetics, it's uh, hit or miss. Um, little spot up here, a little spot up here. Again, stuff you don't 
seeing the auction reports. When you see them do the auction reports, it's kind of funny. Like you kind of lose faith in the whole thing because they're just, you know, they're trying to relist 10,000 cars to sell the next day. So they're not picking out all this stuff, you know? And again, someone tried to fix it in Japan, but crusty right there. But uh, like I said, leave the, leave it to the Americans for the cosmetic stuff. We do have a good guy there now, but he's so good that he's backed up. So not everything gets uh, attended to over there. Inside wise, it's nice. Um, Maxwell got to choose to keep the original steering wheel or this one. He wanted this one, so he's got a Momo steering wheel. Got to choose if he wanted the original seat, and he chose the Recaro. Even being a big dude, I can fit pretty well in this seat. I actually kind of like this seat, I'm not going to lie. Um, not too snug. My skeleton guy for the car shows, his arms are there. So ignore that. Cup holder, big plus aftermarket. Um... Someone's calling me. They're going to have to wait. Wood paneling. I think that comes with the trim level. And little tweeters. Manual windows. Um, everything works great in this car. AC is ice cold. Back seats are there. Not stripped out. Oh, yeah. And then you get the roof racks for all the off-roading fans. You got this cool little ladder, which since I'm fat, I don't not gonna try to climb up and that's locked so no trunk for you cup holder love them bay again dusty but runs good Yeah, the car show this weekend, I had one of my buddies come up, and he was like, hey, man, you don't have a cappuccino here, do you? I was like, nope, I got the motor right here, though. Couldn't believe that this is the same motor as the cappuccino. Like I said, lots to do. I apologize for the short video, but I promise you Maxwell is going to be happy with this. I'm happy with it. And if you are interested in having a Jimny yourself, give us a call, contact us, email us, reach out. Happy to help. See you all next time.